Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode we're going to be solving a Physics 7c practice problem on the topic of wave interference. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like, it really helps our channel. So the problem that we're going to be answering today is two 7c students are uh, testing ideas of wave interference. When Leah stands one meter to the left of the midpoint between the two speakers, she hears no sound. When Tim stands to the right of speaker 2, as shown in the picture below, the sound he hears has maximum intensity. Okay, so Leah hears nothing, uh, Tim hears everything. Both speakers are emitting sound waves with wavelength of 8 meters. Note, distances are not drawn to scale. Okay, so first problem. Given the uh, physical situation described above, find a possible distance between the two speakers. Show your work. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I have everything written down over here. Now, uh, on this particular quiz, we have two people who are, um, you know, experiencing this, Leah and Tim. And for that reason, you know, originally, I wanted to do two face charts as the uh, problem suggested. However, uh, you know, I feel like doing two of these might be too much. And I also feel like, you know what, uh, the point of the face charts per se is just to help you but if you can get away with not using them more power to you is going to give you so much time on the quiz so actually what i'm going to do is since this is a problem that i decided to label red i'm just assuming that you know how to use the equation at this point um otherwise feel free to uh write this down and then just do it yourself that's still gonna work but i just i just don't want to go i'm so tired um Okay, so basically this is the scenario that we have and there is some, um, you know, distance over here, the total distance, which is D, and this is what we have to find. Uh, this is the center right here at D one half, D halves, and then Leah is like one meter to the um, left of that. And then Leah hears no sound and this one here is max, um, maximum intensity. So no intensity and maximum intensity. So let's just go ahead and, um, you know, work out some equations, see what we get. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, and you can do this in any order you want, but I just feel like it's easier if you start with, um, if you go ahead and start with Leah, because, um, Leah's equation is going to have D cancel out. I'll show you how in a second. But basically for Leah, you're going to be able to find the phase uh, difference for these two guys. So if I write my equation, I'm not going to write the um, the period uh, thing that shows up because that's going to be equal to zero. So starting out with the, um, uh, you know, with the spatial term, we have negative 2 pi, oh, and lambda is equal to 8 meters on the problem. 2 pi divided by 8. And I need to be very specific about this. So this equation is going to be um, So this is from Leah's perspective, and then um, let's just do two minus one. So if I'm Leah and I do two minus one, so the distance from the speaker to Leah is d halves plus one. So like half a d plus one meter minus one. So the distance from the speaker to Leah is d halves minus one like this right and then we have our phase differences which i decided to do two minus one so i'm just going to do two minus one over here as well if you do two minus one here uh you need to do two minus one here and then uh i'm gonna go ahead and write she hears no sound, so this is 2n 
plus one times pi. So this is Leah's equation, and what we want to find is basically this term over here. Now let's just go ahead and simplify um, this part over here. So if I simplify, let's see. So these d halves go away because we have plus minus. These two add up because minus and minus are gonna add up. So actually, uh, I would have negative two pi times two, one plus one is two, divided by eight, plus this subtraction, which is what I'm trying to find, and this has to be equal to two n plus one times pi. Simplify over here, so this is a half, negative pi halves, And then my final equation is that the subtraction has to be equal to multiples of this entire thing. So what I'm going to do is, and again, it doesn't matter which one you choose because as you uh, move along on the problem, you'll see that your final answer should be exactly the same. But I do like, you know, making things easier for myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick the answer for n is equal to zero because that way my, um, my final answer for this phase shift or like the smallest phase shift would be pi minus a half. So that would just be plus one half. And now what I have to do is, uh, so take this answer and now do Tim. So now we have to go ahead and do Tim. Oh, I already did green. So let's just go ahead and do maybe this color. So now I'm gonna do equation for Tim. Again, you need to be very specific, like who's, who, like what equation is it from Tim's perspective? Is it from Leah's perspective? Are you doing two minus one? Are you doing one minus two? Um, and then, so this is the equation for team. And let's just go ahead and do two minus one again so that I can just use this answer instead of flipping the sign. So for team, our distances are, now distances. We don't have a distance from speaker two to team but you'll see that uh, the distance, that this distance doesn't really matter because what matters is the distances between the two speakers. So like, even if you say, so like at the end, your final uh, distance is gonna be D over here. And the reason is just basically that, um, you know, just go ahead and do x over here and then you do d plus the x and then d and then you're just gonna, no, x and d plus x and then the x's are gonna cancel out and you're just gonna have d. But basically the only thing that matters over here is that um, you guys have the uh, distance, the distance. But again, if you wanna, if you wanna figure it out, if you wanna put an x and then you wanna cancel out the x, that's fine. Uh, and then the phase differences are plus pi halves. And then Tim actually hears um, maximum sound. Yeah, maximum. So maximum intensity would be equal to uh, 2 pi times n, right? So let's just simplify and find d. In this case, pi goes away. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Feel free to do it whatever way you feel comfortable doing. Okay, so this is my final equation over here. 
and now we need to find a possible distance so at this point I'm, I just have to go ahead and sew and um, you know put some numbers in here right so for n is equal to zero my distance between both of the speakers will have to be two meters so this could be a final answer however the only reason why I don't like this final answer is because if this distance is two meters and Leah is one meters to the left then Leah ends up being literally on top of the speaker now I'm pretty sure that you would still get full credit for this but I just feel like Leah is not on top of the speaker again I am pretty sure you get full credit but I don't like negative answers and I don't like Leah standing on top of the speaker so I think that the next good answer would be n is equal to negative one because that way I get a positive distance. So that would give me eight plus two, 10 meters. And I like this as a final answer. Again, I don't know. I don't see why this would be a bad answer. Like nobody's saying that Leah can't be on top of the speaker. But, you know, this isn't a quiz. I have time to uh, think things through and work things out. So uh, even though I didn't select that as my final answer, I don't see why Leah can't be on top of the speaker, honestly. So anyways, guys, this is uh, the end of our video. So I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos and are finding them useful. If you, if you do, please make sure to leave a like. It really helps our channel. And I will see you guys on the next video.